Welcome back to another Retro Indie Spotlight. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're checking out a game that has been making the rounds. This is UFO 50. This is a game that simulates finding like an old Nintendo style system and 50 games for it and just playing it. Um, it reminds me of those old multi carts. Um, if you guys are familiar with the AVGN, he did Action 52. It was a multi cart with 52 games. It was absolute garbage. This is what that should have been in a good way. This is a good set of 50 games. Um, but it is, yeah, you can see here, there's the UFO 50. It's like a little computer Nintendo thing. We're going to go ahead and hop in here. Play forever. Man, they, they you know what? I think UFO 50 has been a success on Steam, if I'm not mistaken. Like, this game is already a success. I hope they make a physical UFO 50 edition, even if it's just like a, a shell where you slide an iPad and then you play the game or something. Like, it just looks so cool. It's like a lost Nintendo Commodore hybrid system. So this is UFO 50. Um, oh, I hit the wrong button there. Um, I did play for a little bit, but I'm going to start a whole new file for you guys. I only tried a couple of games. So here are the 50 games that you've got. And, and notice, too, you know, see at the bottom there, it says 1982. As we scroll over, it's like the games were released in 84, in 85, and uh, it goes all the way up to 89. These games are all modern games, as far as I understand it. But it's sort of like they're simulating lost games from the 80s. This is this is my kind of game, guys. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it, but, like, I want to play all 50 of these games. Um, the only game that I tried that I was any good at was, I think, Hyper Contender. So we'll give it a shot. But uh, we'll try a couple games here today. And if you guys like this video... I will do a follow-up and we'll do more. Hell, I'll play through all 50 of these games if we want. They're all, like, very short. They, they remind me of old, like, uh, early era NES games. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and just hop right in here. Hyper Contender. And we'll play Tournament Mode. Um, so, you, there are different contenders. There's Elka, uh, who, you know, has a dagger and she jumps. There's Yogo, Braz, Wreck. Etc. Etc. We'll get to fight all these guys. So we will get to see them. Uh, but I'm going to be Elka because I actually played as her and I was pretty good. Again, the only the only game here that I was any good at. So this is a tournament battler, and you can see like this. Does this look like an NES game or what? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So the goal is to. Oh God. Oh, I hit. Got hit by my own knife. Yes tricked the goal is to collect um five rings he has two i have two right now another one will spawn momentarily he's being a dick about this oh we got him oh we're gonna take that ring from oh he knocked one out of us no no oh he knocked one. Oh, we knocked one out of him oh my god oh this is chaos oh you dick stop that Ah, yes. Oh, no. Hit him. Hit him, knife. Oh, God. Believe it or not, as I say, this is the one that I was actually good at. <laughs> Get him. Yes. The fact that her knife, like, ricochets. Oh, God. Oh, is a key. Key element to her, uh, her abilities. Oh, my God. This guy's actually a little uh, tricky. Oh, God. We almost won right there. Can I get one of these rings? Nice try. Oh, we did it. <laughs> I could imagine playing this game after school with friends on a Nintendo system when I was a kid. Like, if this game had existed, we definitely would have played it. Oh, that was a sniper shot right there. He, he doesn't have any more uh, rings right now. It's an interesting game, like, whoever has more rings is kind of at more of a disadvantage, because if you have no rings, there's no cost to getting hit. Oh, we got him. Alright, Donkus. You're going down, Donkus. Oh, you dick! Donkus, you dick. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, you bastard. Oh my god. So many loose rings. Oh, there we go. Alright, Donkus. Down you go, bitch. <laughs> 
Yeah, 5-0. Now, the interesting thing about this game is if you guys are really, like, closely matched, eventually it'll keep spawning rings to the point where there's, like, uh... You know, like, like nine rings out there, so somebody will win. So it's kind of an inter it's a very interesting concept for a game. Um, I've talked about this before on the channel, but this, I think, is an example of something I've talked about, which is, um, you know, like, modern games are still inventing games that there's no reason they couldn't have existed when we were kids. Like, this 100% could have existed on the NES. There's no technical reason why it couldn't exist. Oh, we dominated that guy. It's just, it literally just, nobody happened to build it, you know? But, like, this game, the game was there. Um... It reminds me of uh, something I read that Michelangelo said once. Or, or oh, geez, yeah, this guy has minds. I forgot. <laughs> um, I think it was Michelangelo. Uh, or actually, no, he was a painter. Might have been Da Vinci. I don't know, but somebody, somebody who did sculptures back in like Greek times. Oh, Jesus. Uh, basically said, oh, it's hard to, it's hard to talk about ancient. Greek philosophers or artists or whatever right now. I'm fighting a werewolf. Die. Give me that ring. Come here, bitch. Oh, God. Get him. <laughs> ah, Jesus. No, there's all my rings. Okay, hold on. Oh, bloody hell. Come on. Come on up here. Oh, yes. Okay, that's okay. We just need one more off of this guy. Ah! No. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, this is so hard. Uh. Yes! Oh! He dodged it! Oh, you mother effer! We're gonna lose! Oh, he lost! Oh, God. Okay, the thought I was trying to get out before I was brutalized by a wolf is uh, something I think Da Vinci said when he was talking about sculptures. And they said, like, how do you, uh, you know, how do you, like, sculpt something so beautiful out of marble? And he said, the sculpture is always there. I just chip away the marble that's not needed, you know? Sort of sort of the idea that, like, you know, in, in, a, in a sheet of marble, there are, like, an infinite number of, like, beautiful, awesome, artistic statues. And, like, all all da vinci or other artists are doing is like chipping away the bits that aren't needed and like revealing that that you know oh thank god that uh that sculpture to the world and so in a very real way like in every nintendo or like millions of games that were never made because the right collection of ones and zeros were never arranged but they're hiding in there in the code in like every computer processor is is a are hidden Nintendo gems that just were never invented, and <laughs> even to this day, indie developers are continuing to invent, uh, you know, great new games. <clears throat> so, you know, I, I've said I'm a retro gamer through and through, um, and oh, you bastard. One of the reasons that uh, I love indie games is sometimes you get a gem like this where it's like, oh my god, my own knife hit me. <laughs> Um, you get a gem like this where it's like it feels like you've discovered a lost NES game, you know? Uh, boom! Yes! Give me that ring! Oh! I thought we had enough to win! Oh, shit! Oh, God! That ring! Oh, God! It is so close! Oh, you stupid... Oh, come on! Thought we had it. Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! There is a way to dodge, by the way, and I don't know how to do it. So I'm playing this hardcore mode, like no dodging. But boom! We did it. Voltana. I think this guy's hard. He shoots on diagonals, which is kind of unfair. Oh, man, we got real lucky there. <laughs> yeah, his, his shots sort of bounce all over the place. Whoa! Oh god, oh god. Stay away from me! Stupid reflecting shots. Ah! Yes, get him! Ah! 
No, that would have been victory. Oh, he's got two. Oh, holy God, he's trying to kill me. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, dick, he dodged. Yes. Oh, come on. We were like ahead the whole match. My, I, I'm literally scrunching my toes right now. I'm like so stressed. Oh, there's rings everywhere. Yes. Got one out of him. Come on. Fall for it. Yes. I find you can kind of lure enemies. If there's like a loose ring, you know they're going to go for it. And you can anticipate and fire something ahead of them getting there. The cool thing about this game, by the way, is that there's so many different characters, as you can see, and they all play, like, very differently. Oh, God. Oh, that actually worked to my advantage. Um, so that I could imagine playing this over and over and clearing it with all the characters. The one thing I might add, if I were... Oh, God. The developer here is, uh, like, unlockable characters. Where, like, if you beat it... So if you beat... Uh, the tournament with every character then it unlocks one new character and then maybe if you beat it with him or, or her you get like one more character oh yeah <laughs> that was a knife shot to the head that was an assassination assassinated so it has come to this you bested every contender and yet the wicked pit masters will not let you rest only a fight against your own clone will satisfy their hunger for thrills. They're always making clones in video games. Like, every single tournament video game, they they have cloning technology. Like, imagine in real life, you know, like, you got a promotion at work, and it's like, well, you're, you've been promoted pretty high, but in order to get promoted to the next level, you have to defeat a clone of yourself in, like, a business meeting. Um, I don't know why people are defeating clones in business meetings, but anyway, that's what I've come up with. Oh, see, she, the AI is playing this character better than I, than I play her myself. Oh, maybe not. Ha ha. Oh, damn. She got two out of that three. It's not fair. Oh, oh, you, she kicked me in the head. She kicked me in the head. I should say, I kicked myself in the head. Oh, yeah. Look at that ring. Boom. Saw that coming. Just defeated myself, yo. <laughs> so, did anyone really win? Tournament winner. Boom. My plan was to return to normal life after winning, but now normal seems dull. I can only be a contender. Ah, yes, a tale as old as time. Concept. Winston Nemuru, KC-11. So, yeah, I think this... So, by the way, to give you some context, this game was produced, I think, by the guy who did Spelunky. And I think they got, as you can see in the credits here, like, uh, some guest people to come in. Or not guests, but like other employees and stuff built some of the games. I believe, I believe. Um, this is all just out of, you know, very limited info. So, anything I've got wrong... You know, correct me in the comments, but it's probably a lot. But in any case, we just defeated. Uh, we just won. We just won. So I'll let the credits run their course here, and then we'll try another game or two here. We got 50 to try. I think we're going to get through like two or three today. I kind of was thinking, oh, maybe I'll... Like, I, I was really enjoying UFO 50. I tried a few games. There's so many I haven't tried, but I was like, this is very promising. Maybe I'll do some videos and I'll do like five or ten games of video, but it took me 15 minutes just to do that, so I'm kind of thinking like two to three games of video. Uh, what's in options, by the way? Out of curiosity. Oh, wow. You can edit all kinds of stuff. That's awesome. Okay, so you can at any point. Wait, what's terminal? Oh my god! <laughs> Is it like a password system? I don't even know what that was. We'll go back to the menu. So now we've dusted this one off. We've got this one. So let's see. Let's try and find another. Oh, Night Manor. I heard there are horror games. Maybe I should play that a little closer to Halloween. Elf Czar's Hat. Pilot Quest. This would be a good one to stream. Because I could ask you guys which one I should try next. But I'm just going to pick one randomly here. Planet Zoldath. How about 
How about Ninpack? Whatever that is. Or Kick Club. That looks like soccer. Okay, how about Nimpec? I like how you dust it off. And it looks like a Nintendo cartridge slash floppy disk, which the Famicom actually had disks. So it's sort of, again, this is some weird, like, Nintendo computer system that was never released. Um, this looks so early NES, though. Early NES games always had that, like, black background. You know, like, when, when it was, like, the games were really just running off, like, Nintendo hardware at that point. The later games had, like, uh, different, like, memory chips and stuff. Like, Mario 3 had all these chips to make, uh, to make the game, uh, you know, have more abilities. Whoa! I think I just died. I turned into a ghost! <laughs> oh god, an egg! So I'm killing cows for green eggs. Interesting. Oh, and there's snakes, too. The eggs remind me a little bit of a joust. Oh, I can just, like, hold the button? There we go. Oh, you son of a bee. Oh, my God. Twice. Oh, when you're a ghost, you can actually, like, shoot as you're in ghost form. All right, well, that that was hard. I'm curious if two players lets you play two players simultaneously. Okay, we'll give this one one more shot, and then we'll try a different game. Maybe we can get through, like, three or four games here today. Like, if they're all this this quick. Um, the thing I like about this, too, by the way, this UFO 50, is that you do get, like, 50 old NES-style games. And it, it, it seems like a case of, like, there's going to be something for everyone. Even if... I, I, think, I don't know if anyone out there would look at all 50 games and be like, sweet, like, all 50 look awesome. Because, uh, like, truth be told, like... Like, not everyone liked every game that was made for the NES. Like, people have preferences, right? Oh, fuck. Wasn't even paying attention to that snake. So being a ghost, you get really powerful. Let's try it. Okay, so this is like a rapid fire thing. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, you can double jump. Okay, that's useful. I wish it wasn't auto-walking me. I don't mind that the screen auto scrolls, but I wish it wasn't auto walking me. <laughs> See, look at this. Powered up ghost style. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> Twice. Ah, son of a... You get no invulnerability when you spawn. For some reason, I thought you would. Alright, well, you know, that was interesting. <clears throat> now we can try a different game. Um... I know there's, like, some games that are literally, like, Mario and stuff. What's Capanella 2? Maybe this is, like, Mario 2. UFO Soft presents Capanella 2. The Giant Space Station. The SS, oh my god, for the three weeks of radio traffic has been registered from this planetoid. Worried that the gold he stored there, pilot set out to investigate. He does not come back. You are Isabel, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, this one looks nice and complicated. Oh, look at this. Oh! Oh, I... What? <laughs> I died in two seconds! <laughs> there's... That's... There's no way. That's hilarious. Okay, hold on. Do I have to go in? Okay. I see. Okay, so you're supposed to, like, fly around. Am I supposed to get these? Okay. The fall damage is crazy. Oh, and I took damage from, like... Oh, no, son of a bitch! Okay, I want to give this one a, a, a bit of a shot here, because it seems like there's some interesting stuff going on, even if I am bad at it. Okay. So we're trying to collect stars, is my understanding. Oh, and you can shoot, too. Okay. That's useful. Oh, I got hurt there for some reason. Oh! Fuck. Okay, one more shot. An interesting little game here. I bet you there are videos already where people have beat all of these games. Now, what is this? 
Ah, okay, you can shoot those. Can I get that? I was trying to jump and then pull back. You can't control your jump in the air. Okay, one more shot. It's a hard game, but it's like there there's some complexity to it. Can you kill these guys? Oh, you totally can. Okay, hold on. I saw this red door before. What does that do? Oh, look! Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, God. So many things. So many eyeball things. Ow. Yeah, so when you jump, you can't really control your momentum. Come on, eyeball. I I'm getting like a bit of a Metroid vibe out of this or something, or like um, Kid Icarus. Yeah. Oh, a million billion coins. Suck them up. Sweet. All right, now we're back to this part. What's this thing? Nothing. I wonder if I have to collect all these or, or what. Oh, that looks dangerous. Oh, I just blew up! All right, well, an interesting little game. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Party house. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like an alien party. All right. I feel like a Maniac Mansion kind of, -y, you know, like this reminds me of. I love the, like, 90s aesthetic. Triangles, circles, squiggly lines, and, like, random colors. Yeah, it's 90s. That's so 90s. Although, 86, so I don't know. All right. <clears throat> we have Alien Invitation, High or Low. This guy dressed like a dragon. Best Wishes, Random Scenario. I have no idea what this is. Get this party started. <clears throat> okay. Rolodex. Contacts. Old friend plus one pop. Old friend, old friend. Rich pal plus one cash. <laughs> the wild buddy. Trouble, but plus two pop. Okay, so we're trying to bring in 0 0.65 pop, 0 0.30 money, and I have 25 time. Okay, we just brought in trouble, but plus two pop. Should we call somebody? Um, let's call this guy. Actions not available in Rolodex. Okay. That's just the people who exist. Okay. This guest has no actions. All right, so we open the door again. Guest has no actions. There's nothing here. Party is getting out of hand. Uh-oh, too much trouble. Two troubly guests. What do I do? Let's start. There's nothing here. Okay. I mean, my only options seem to be open the door. Oh, no! The cops have shown up! <laughs> Who gets the blame? This guy. Wild Buddy will be temporarily banned from one party while he does time in the slammer. Time to throw another party. Okay. Okay. So I guess you don't want too much trouble. I, it doesn't matter who we blame. Wild Buddy is temporarily banned. Okay. Party's almost full. The party is full. Okay. Congratulations. Add to the Rolodex. Okay. So we're trying to have a cool party without too much trouble. Oh man, look at this guy. Plus three pop and plus two cash. That guy's crazy. Plus four pop and trouble. Boots out one guest. Oh, that's cool. Minus one pop, plus two cash. And what's this guy? Cancel one trouble. Ooh, that might be a good guy to have. Peek at next guest. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy. Spend four popularity to add. How much popularity do I have? I don't, uh, I don't, I'm not even 100% sure. This guy might be good. You don't have enough popularity. Okay. 
So we're good, I guess. Can we do anything in the Rolodex? Actually, I'm just not... so this is just like our our collection of dudes. This is, this is a weird game. Very interesting though. Oh man, <laughs> he's trouble. Oh no, party's gonna get a hand. Oh no, we got busted right at the end. Okay, I'm gonna throw away this guy. Okay, so the trick is you don't wanna get busted. I have no idea how to control who comes in. Seems to just be random. Fuck. Not again. I kind of want to pull some of these trouble guys out of my my rotation. This one trouble guy with three pops and uh, two money. He's pretty good. Okay, so there we go. So we made it. We, you know what we need is we need some party, some trouble cancellation. So being able to boot somebody might be handy. What does this guy do? Get four stars in a single party to win. Plus three cash. Brings one guest. Plus four pop. House is full. Plus five pop. Interesting. Okay, let's um, let's bring in the hippie to calm things down a little bit. And let's try this again. All right. Perfect. Oh, pop is popularity. I thought it was literally, I'm like, oh, they're bringing Coke to the party. You know, or Dr. Pepper. Popularity. <laughs> well, that makes more sense. What's this person? Minus one pop. I kind of want another hippie and another one of these guys. What does this music one do? One music is, oh man. If you invest in the music people, you could really clean up. It's interesting. What does this do? Increase capacity to six. Oh. Okay, so we could do that. Oh, we could do it to seven. Dang. Should we invest in some music? Okay, I'm going to invest in the music direction, and I'll see what happens. This is an interesting game, actually. It's like growing on me. Yeah, the party is full. Made some money. Okay, we got to we got to get more dancers. That's the key here. What does this do? Brings one guest. Okay, we'll do more dancers. We'll kind of leave it at that. We're saving up to invest in dancers. Uh, we got some trouble. Come on, hippie. <laughs> okay, we're going to blame this guy. Interesting. So you really do want to like tamp down on the troublemakers. Um, we're still good. I get, I'll probably buy another hippie if I can. Or security might be good. There we go. We at least made it through. We might want a little bigger house. So this is, this is an interesting game. You have to have, throw the biggest party possible. Um, but also the calmest one. Do we want security? I'll try security. And I'll take another dancer. Because if we check our Rolodex, we've got three dancers. We, we want to get a lot of dancers in there. All right. See who comes to our party. Uh oh, trouble. Okay, so if we select him, we can boot somebody. Like we boot that guy. This guest has no action. Oh, after you boot someone, that's it though. Hmm. I feel like security is a bit of a waste. I, mean, I guess you can selectively boot somebody. I'd rather have hippies though, you know? gonna buy another dancer to try and stack the deck okay, here we go one dancer two dancers oh we could boot someone if we want do we want to boot anybody okay let's boot her she's too boring oh no 
<laughs> I guess we should have kept her. We could have used some cash. All right. The dancing bonus, plus four. Oh, that's it. We can't have more dancers. Plus three cash, an auctioneer. Um, peek at next guest. Pop cash. So I guess these guys are good because you want to stack as many of these guys in as possible. Is that it? Yeah, I don't know. Hard to say. Brings one guest. Plus four pop. I'm sure there's an optimal build here. Not too sure what it is, though. I get one of these guys. I'm going to take one more of these guys. Because these guys do bring in a lot. They're trouble. But they bring in a lot of good stuff. Oh, we got dancers and troublemakers. Oh, no. Thank God the hippies calm things down. Boom, boom. All right, we're getting we're getting there. Our, our party build is coming along. Party house is assembling. We need some more cash, though. And I don't know how you bring in more cash. I guess you bring in one of these guys. All right, you can come to the party. You're invited. Uh, take one more of these guys. I guess it's good to have a little bit of security. And try and build some combos. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna boot this guy. You're out of here, punk. Alright, there we go. Do I want to boot someone? Party's full, action's still available. You know what? I could take a risk. So who is least valuable? I think it's you. Alright, what else we got? Nah, I just replaced it with the same person. We made a lot of money in this party, though. In good popularity. All right. It's coming along. I see how this game is played. And... <clears throat> Take another one of you so we can get some more cash, I guess. Okay. Time to throw another party. Just, this is just my life. Day after day, I'm just throwing parties. All right, we gotta boot somebody. Get out of here! Who invited you? There we go. Nice calm party. We need those dancers, man. We need more dancers. I just wanna like fill my Rolodex full of dancers. Spend 40 popularity to add. Get four stars in a single party to win. So I guess we need to buy that guy eventually. I'm gonna keep making my house bigger. Oh shoot, the cops! I <laughs> uh, can blame this guy. He's banned from potties. Um, I don't know if I need to buy anyone else. I like how having a monkey at your party just makes it super popular. Plus four pop. I mean, this might be useful. All right. Sure. He, and he's not a troublemaker. I guess we want to dilute the troublemakers as much as possible. Like, uh, this guy brings a guest. Eh, let's see what happens. Why not? D diluting the troublemakers. And we have security, so we've got options. Really don't want to have to boot one of these guys, but I can't take the chance. The troublemaker shows up, and then the cops show up. Frick. Uh, bring party is full. All right. Plus one bonus. The dancers have really not been paying for themselves. They kind of suck. <laughs> Uh, what does this guy do? Fetch specific guest. What? Why didn't I? Oh, this. Oh, this could be useful for grabbing dancers. Hmm. And having more security is good. And a bigger house. Do I want to fetch or boot? Pick fetch. 
Okay, Th those are very valuable abilities, being able to fetch a guest. We got a dancer, we got some security. All right, this party is going well, actually. Boot that troublemaker. Shit. Well, that's a better troublemaker if we're gonna have one. Party has chilled out, perfect. Oh man, this I think this was a money maker, this party. Popularity through the roof. I got charged one dollar, but I made like 20 popularity. Okay, I'm gonna take more security in this guy. Um, do I want another one of these guys? These guys are good though too, actually. Like these are good troublemakers. Um, am I missing any other key abilities? Like, this guy here is objectively worse than this guy. This guy just brings cash. Um, I'll take another one of him. All right. That's good for now. Oh, we can summon somebody. Okay, let's wait and see who we need. Oh, we can summon two people. Let's make sure we leave room. Okay. So I guess let's summon another one of these guys. And then we'll summon who else who do we want to finish off here? We summon another troublemaker that will end our night. One dollar for four popularity. How about let's bring in more money? Yeah. So being able to have control is actually super valuable. So these guys are good. Um Oh, I could boot somebody. Uh, I should have done that first and then summoned. Problem is it risks um, the party getting out of hand. So I think I'll just uh, end the party. Uh, X. Party have, has ended. You know, I wasn't sure about this game at first, but actually it's really grown on me. It's like one of the more interesting ones. Like it just clicks with me. I'm like, hey, this is fun. Um, do I want to buy anyone? Peek at next guess. Guess. That's, this is actually a valuable, and two popularity is not bad. All right, being able to peek is good. Um, I want to bring more of these rock stars in. Just worried about, like, crashing the party. Bigger house. And I guess I can't do anything else right now. All right. All right, we have some control. We can summon people, boot people, boot people. Oh, we got some auctioneers, summon. Okay, so we are fine. Next one's gonna be a summoner. Why don't we... Okay, let's, um, let's boot someone. Let's boot old friend. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> You're too boring. Um, okay, let's boot old friend. You're too boring. We have three abilities to summon in three positions. Let's summon three dancers. Or do we want three money? Three of the money guys. Actually, we have a lot of money guys already. Let's do three dancers. We've never had three dancers before. One, two. Four. Oh, we got all four dancers now. We're going to get insane popularity. <laughs> Plus 16! Damn, son. Okay, the summoning guy, I don't know why I didn't pick him before. The friend guy, I don't even know if this guy's worth it. He spawns two people. That could be good or bad. Um, Let's see. What's this do? House is full. Plus five popularity. Spend five popularity to add. Huh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna add another cash guy. I think what I'm gonna do, I think I can, I think I can handle it now. I have enough of the other guys. This might, this might shut us down. I'm gonna take more of these guys. It's a risk, but I think we can like peek, we can boot, we can summon. We've just chilled the party out. We got hippies. It's all good. We got two dogs for peeking. 
guy. We're okay. We got so many dogs, so many capacities to peak. Party's almost full. All right, who's coming up? A hippie. So that means things are going to calm down a bit. So let's boot out. Um, let's boot out Rich Pal. B. That was worth it. We kicked out the Rich Pal and then we got an even richer guy. <laughs> Oh, yeah, look at that money rolling in now. We only got five turns left, but now we're killing it. I think we go for a bigger house. I think we can support it. Um, do we take more hippies? I think we could do some more hippies. Could even take a monkey at this point, because I think we can handle all this rowdiness. We've got the control. These guys are totally useless. Um, minus one popularity for plus two cash. And that could be useful. Eh, why not? And then, why not? So we're, we're trading like one thing for like four of another. I think those guys are actually worth it. Time to throw another party. We can boot someone. Okay, why don't we just... So do we want to kick out this guy or summon a hippie? I think we summon a hippie. That'll calm things down a bit. Where's the hippie? There it is. Get in here, hippie. What else we got going on? An old friend. We can boot somebody whenever we want. So we got some safety. He brought a dog. Who's coming next? Another dog. All right, who's coming next? Another guy. Okay, so I'm gonna boot. Um, I'm gonna boot this guy because he's useless now, actually. And I guess I'll boot this guy because he's useless. <laughs> All right, we can summon somebody. Is there somebody specific? We might as well summon. So actually choose who our last person. We could do a dancer. Do we want dancer or money? Um, or is there somebody who would give us more? This guy's better, actually. Yeah. There we go. Free popularity and two money. I think that's... That was, a, that was a good decision, if I can say so myself. Yeah, there we go. We're raking in an insane amount of cash each turn. I think we only have three turns left, so I might just want to start saving my money. I think I'm happy with my uh, my Rolodex. Okay, we can summon somebody when we want. Summon another person when we want. We might want to start summoning some security and kicking some of these people out. <laughs> okay, we only have two more spots. I mean, I might as well summon like two dancers. Or I could summon two of the party animal guys. Party's arm almost full. I'm gonna do two party animals. It's it's two rock stars, just rowdy enough. I like how I thought Pop was literally them bringing Pop to the party. Plus four dancing bonus. Do we want a slightly bigger house? We only have two more rounds. I say we do it because we're almost maxing our money out. I think we can, like, max our score out, though. Uh-oh. Oh, God. There's nothing we can do if the next one is a rowdy. Come on, not rowdy. Oh, a hippie. Thank God. Okay, we can summon someone if we need to. We got so many dogs, we can peek as much as we want. Oh, we got another hippie. All right, we're fine. Okay, we might as well summon somebody specific. We have one dancer. Another dancer bunks it up to plus four, but that kind of sucks. We might as well. The two hippies are canceling out the two rowdiness, so it's like I can't get too rowdy. There we go. Like there was nothing I could do that would like cancel that party. Damn, we almost like literally have maxed out. That's crazy. 
Plus one dancing bonus! Okay, I think in the interest, this is my last party, in the interest of maxing out, I'm not really going to do anything. Oh, we could buy this guy. Get, get four stars in a single party to win. Okay, might as well buy this guy. And we'll see what happens. I don't know how you get stars in a party. All right, we have the power to kick, so we've got some security. Oof. I wish I could peek, but I don't have any dogs. All right, out you go. Okay, we can kick again. We're safe. All right, who's coming next? Another dog. Who's coming next? The server. Now I don't know who's coming. I'd love to kick the other security guard to make room. I think I gotta kick this guy, just to be safe. Oh! Oh no! Oh, no more rowdiness! Okay, we can kick. I say we do it. We, we can't risk this last party getting busted up by the cops. Okay, we can peek if we need to. Oh, well, might as well see who's coming. Wow, there was a lot of rowdy people this last party. If we had not kicked people out selectively, we would have been in trouble. Well, we maxed out our money. We didn't max out popularity. We ran out of time, game over. That's it, eh? Alien invitation, unbeaten. I mean, I don't know what I was doing to not win. I know I had to get the alien. Kind of came, I figured the game out late. Honestly though, that was super fun. That was really fun. I would 100% come back and play that game again. In fact, I may do it after the cameras turn off because I really like that game. Um, okay, I think we should stop there for today because the video is getting a little long. UFO 50, it's a brand new game on Steam by the guy who did Spelunky and all his friends or something like that. It, it, is, it is a collection of lost NES games. What can I say? Guys, I highly recommend this game. Uh, personally, I'm going to keep playing and try this alien game, I think. But uh, if you, I'm not going to try any other games. So if you guys like this video and you want to see more UFO 50, you let me know and we can totally do more. If you don't want to see it, then I'll do more in my own time. But there's so many. There's 50 games to explore. 47 left uh, that we have not seen today. Or actually 46. We saw this one too. So uh, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Check out UFO 50. There'll be a link in the description down below. And other than that, you guys take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon. Peace.